Welcome to Railroads Online, and this is episode six in the new splines track building tutorials. And today we are down at the smelter. And what we're going to do today is we're going to build some bridges. But not actually here at the smelter. We're going to follow the mark route around, which runs up here. To the first place where there's a big bridge to build. Which will follow the marked route all the way up here where it's all nice and flat. Until we get to here and there is a takeoff point on this side of the river. And there is a landing point on the other side of the river. And first up we'll put in a little bit of track to basically just mark where we are. So that we've got a, a starting point. And we'll rotate this around so that it's pointing the right direction. Just so we've got a flat bit of track to start building from. And we'll just place this manually. Oh, wrong way. So that we're pointed somewhere in the right direction. Which about that looks pretty good. Somewhere here at the takeoff point. Okay, and now we'll start to put our bridge in. Which we will build the next section in Stonewall so that we've got a little bit of a transition between. And we will put circle mode on. And I'm pretty sure this was 170. We put that curve in at. So we've got just a little bit of a takeoff point here on this side. Put that in. And now we'll put the bridge itself in. And well, I normally put seal bridge when we're going over water. And this is as easy as stretch it out to the other side. And where is 170 going to meet us up at? So we want to try and put in the curve that's going to match us up the little valley here. So we need to come just a little bit tighter from this point. And maybe one more, maybe even one more. That should work just nicely. Actually, no, I think we might pull it back over to meet up neatly here with the takeoff point here on this side. So we'll put it back out again. And that has us meet up neatly with here. Ah, and that is the weirdest thing you've ever seen. <coughs> this is a bug, known bug with the bridges currently is that this bit here seems to build out just that little bit too long. Ah, need to get rid of the existing one first. And to get rid of it, this is one of the reasons why we put the little bit of stone wall on each side. So you can hide that bit that sticks out. And there we go, that's fixed the next problem. And of course the last one is, and because we're a little bit deep here, we will need to use just the slightly deeper, the medium depth of groundwork and we'll work our way up the hill here a little bit so we can work out what curve we need to put in here. And it also needs to come up some. And I think we could get away with a 60 meter radius if we keep it close to this side here. And we just need to point it up the hill just a little bit. And I think we may be just a little bit too close to the edge. Let's put it on a grid one and move it back just slightly. And our grade is currently 1.5, which is not going to go very far. So we might lift our grade to two. 2.5 that'll get us up a little bit higher and just pull it back until it lines up with the direction we want to go and there we go we have built a bridge which looks quite good across the river on the marked route and 
very easy to build a bridge like this. There's no need, like in the old system, you would have had to have built across it first with some groundworks so that you had somewhere to click everything down to. And in the new system, it's simply a case of pull it across and click it in. Okay, now we'll run up to the iron mine and we will build another bridge up there. And because we've got dev speed, we'll get there really, really fast. And we'll take a little bit of a shortcut around here. As long as we stay close to the edge of this mountain, we'll get there. Whoa, went airborne there for a little bit. And we'll build this little section here. Down the edge of the cliff. On the, on the cliff face, on the little ledge that they've given us. And we'll rotate this around so that we're pointing somewhere in the right direction and we do want to be level for this first section. And I think we need to go around just a little bit further. Line up down this. Not too far. And I think that will line us up pretty good there. And we're still building curves, and we don't want to be building curves. We want a straight track. And I'm just curious how long it takes before it actually disappears out over the edge. And actually, we might put this on free placement mode, so that we can actually put the track in exactly where we want it. And it's not even going to let us place that because it's too deep. It wants us to put in number two, which of course is going to stick out the side because it's too deep. Now that's that's an odd. little bit of a I don't like how it does that okay we want to be I'm pretty sure it's one percent down to get along here maybe that's close enough now that it'll let us do it and it still won't let us put it in so to get over this bump we're just going to put in one tiny little short bit and did it stick out the edge it did So much for that method. Let's try over here. Well, let's let us put it in now. And it still won't let us put it over this little hole in the... Um, we'll put it on a 50 centimetre grid. And we'll try and stay a little bit closer to the edge here. It still won't let us go over this little hole. Which, that's odd, because that should be well and truly deep enough. And we fell off the side of the mountain. That should be well and truly deep enough to go in. That is very problematic. is obviously not calculating those depths correctly. And sticking out, it's sticking out. And somehow I have managed to get stuck again. <laughs> Delete it once again and let's have another go. just to get across that little gap and now it said we can go back to depth one no it still says we are in the wrong spot here to get into depth one
And it appears to be there is absolutely no way out of this. Our only option left is to use a piece of stone wall in the middle. Now will it let us connect? Now it'll let us connect. How far does this stick out the side? It does not at all. Very good. But that has obviously gotten too low, so this piece needs to come to here. And it won't let us place it. This is unbelievable. There is no reason why that should not allow us to place this piece in. That is absolutely unbelievable. Well, I call this broken code. I have no trouble calling a spade a spade. Let's try now. Now it'll let us put it in there. Okay, now we need a piece here, which is a transition, which should take us back to level. level and circle mode on please now we can put our last little bit here on the end which is oh, wrong way we want to try and aim this in the correct direction where we want to go with the track which we can't build that smooth of a curve with the circle tool. I will put this piece here in straight. It just will not allow us to build it how we want to build it. And now we will change to our bridge. And we'll just use the wooden bridge at the moment. Hopefully it'll allow us to place it. Run over here to the other side. And we want it to run to about here. And it'll let us put that in. Now we want to come back to decking. We only want a short piece, and why is it going so long? Four metres, four metres. There we go. Now this will need to be number two. over to this side maybe not quite that far over to there four meters everything else but there we go four meters and the last one we put in here is the next bridge we run all the way over to the other side and then i think this is going to have to be a freehand placement because it is just not going to allow us to put it in, or it might. And a 1000 radius. And no, I actually think that's slightly in the wrong spot. We need to be... We will, we will turn off circle mode. I know that it's going to build the bridge slightly wrong. We need to rotate... And it needs to be on ones. We need to rotate this until it's just pointing the right direction for us. And we can freehand place it in, which will put us... But if we come down here, this will tell us exactly where we need to be to be pointing the right direction. And then move back to about here, where we would expect the bridge to end, and click it in.
Change over to Stonewall. Circle mode on. Four meters. And we might not be able to get away with this. We need to get rid of that first. Uh, second depth. How far can we go before it sticks out? We can get to there. And that's with a curve. We don't want a curve. So we'll pull it back around straight. And we'll pull it all the way forward until it won't let us place it anymore, which is about there. Um, just as a test, because this is a spot where we actually have to try and get over. Let's turn off the free mode and work out what grade we need to put here, which is about down point one. Here's the high spot right here. And if we spin this around, it'll actually push it up in against the edge. And it's just not going to allow us to have it all the way to here with just the gravel. But it will if we push it to there. That seems to work. Let's push it up nice and neatly against the edge here. Oh, it looks pretty good to me. So we'll click that piece in. And there we go, we've got most of it in with gravel and not sticking out the edge. Oh, look at that. We missed this first little bit. We didn't quite make the bridge long enough. Now, something that if we want to do, if we decide, well, we don't like this bridge, we can actually come here in the middle. And let's say we want to use one of these bridges with the edge on it. We can just take that piece of bridge out and let's have a look and see what it looks like with this one. Will it give us a link? No, because we're not quite facing the right direction. Spin it around. And when we get close, it should give us a link. There we go. And we can click it in with that bridge. Now notice that this particular wooden, the one with the wooden walkway on the side, it only has the walkway on one side. So you have to be careful which direction you build the bridge if you want to get it on the right side. And I, of course, wanted to have it on the south side of these bridges. Okay, what, what has happened here? Okay, this is why we're too tall. We have had an error right from this point. So let's delete everything that we put in. <laughs> delete, 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 delete. <laughs> this is why it didn't quite work out where we wanted it to. We had a link not connect together as we come off of this bridge. Let's try it again, shall we? Um, circle mode on. And we'll go to meter snap so that we get a four meter end. I'm pretty sure we still need to put in two here. And let's see how this makes it different. And this is going to be four meters long there. Normal bridge, run across to the other side. Okay, now we're getting different things happening. And off the circle mode. Oh, look at that, we are actually too low. We cannot get through the gap. Which means right where we started on the other side, is too low. So we actually need to come back and remove all of this, this, and this. And of course, you can't get up there. Let's go over the top then. This piece and that piece, and we also have to remove this piece. 
and come all the way back to here and try again. This is completely unrehearsed putting this piece in. I have not had a go at this already. Put the circle mode on. And we are one down. Sorry, from this point we'll have more length of transition. And lift it back up to level. We should get our track up just a little bit higher. We'll make them five meters this time. Put our bridge across and see where our bridge lands on the other side this time. See if we've got a little bit more height. And we have gotten just a little bit more. Our bridge there. Four meters, come on. Oh, no, it won't work with one. We're too, a little bit too deep here for one. We might try and give this just a little bit of a curve and see where it takes us. See whether or not it lines up better. It does. And so we will put that bit in there. Now a four metre piece of this. And let's see whether or not the bridge actually makes it to the other side now without bottoming out. There we go. That was a little bit we needed to fix up. And now of course we see that the a thousand is too much of a curve. We want less of a curve than a thousand. So our only option is to go to pre mode and under ones. And we need to turn the bridge so that the curve goes just the right way. And then if we come down here further, we can see where the bridge is going a little bit better. And I like the look of that. Back to about here. Put in our four metre piece of it, lets us get a link. There we go, there's our link. And we need to turn circle mode on. And we need to put it on 100 so that it builds four metres. I think we're a little bit too far to the left. Not going to develop this corner in how we want it. Now we come to our number two again, turn circle mode off and start curving the track around where we want it. So that it's neat up against the edge. up in there actually how far down do we have to come we've got quite a bit of drop we can get here so I'll work at our drop first we can't quite get down that far which is one so we'll take it down a half a degree for this piece Snap it in there like that. And that has put, put a wobble in the track up here. Look at that. Because we weren't quite pointed the right direction with that bridge that we put in. And we are stuck again. <laughs> So I think the error is in that piece there, which should have been put in straight. So we'll go for G mode, lift it up, get rid of the curve. And 
see one C four meters, put it on a meter snap. Okay, oh grab the correct bridge. Now we need to work out where we need to put this curve in at. We only want just the slightest little bit of curvature. We don't want it to link. Again, here with the stone wall, and this time we do want circle mode on. It's going to be on 100, circle mode on, and straight build four meters, depth two. I'm not going to let the snap it here now. I won't be able to get onto it easily either. Up, oh, up, oh, oh, we got on. There we go. And we can start actually going downhill now. Let's turn off the circle mode so that we can see what height we need to work on. half a degree we want to go down. Oh. Right. Too great of a turn. Let's bend this curve into the right spot. we're going to see whether or not we're putting a funny bend in there is to get back up here out of the way a bit and we see we're going to put a funny bend in that so what we're going to have to do is just have to build straight mode up until the point of where it's going to stick through the edge and let's see if it'll let us put it in here now with this next little piece back to freehand mode again and of course now it won't let us push that far enough into the corner to get all that gravel sunk so we have got no choice but to change to stone wall which if we messed around and we got this track as close to this edge here as possible we could probably probably get away with it and to be having the track pointing further this direction. So we kind of have no way to get around it. Now we're just going to have to use this piece here. And to get it to curve in further, we just need to place the track Make it face the direction we want it to face, and well, that's too far. So we need to make sure we're pointing the right direction at the end of the track, which is to there, and then work out the position to put it, which will be about there. Let's have a look and see what kind of a curve that made. That made a better curve. Now we can have another look at our grade and let's see if we can get a little bit steeper without it poking through the ground. And we can easily get a three now. But anyway, well that's got the bridges in and we'll now come back and we will, oh you rotten. 
And that's not so bad because we've got a link either end now. We can actually remove that and just put it in very easily. And spin it so that it lines up. Give us a link now. And it'll just replace the piece that we lost. And we sunk again. Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, now we'll put in the bridge that we wanted there, which was the one with the... We'll change the colour, actually. We'll go for the old bridge. And of course we need to spin this 180 degrees and the first to be on for that is 10. There's a link symbol. And there we go. Now we have the bridge in there. And we'll do the same with the last one. Or maybe we won't. We'll just get stuck. I really hope whatever's causing this gets fixed. It's getting stuck in the... Because it is enough to drive you crazy. In at around 180... not use fast mode we will just walk very slowly <laughs> so we don't get stuck again and the old bridge again oh wow well that was completely unexpected bring me off to the other side of the world Just use the normal walk mode to get up on top because we don't want to get stuck. Spin this around. Are you going to show us a link? Perhaps. Maybe. Maybe not. Obviously, this hole is too deep. And that's what it appears to be, is this hole is too deep. Because it will not let me place it anywhere along there. Which, yes, that's unexpected. You would not have thought that that hole would be too deep for the bridge type. And you would expect that the bridge with the walkway on the edge would be a better height than the one without. I am very, very surprised. I think that's a little bit backwards because you don't the walkway on the taller bridge. So we'll have to put the normal one back in here again. And it works. Let's have a look at the pylons on this one. Oh, yeah, see, the pylons are nowhere near as tall on this bridge. At least it has placed them all correctly, though. Yes, I'm a little bit disappointed in that, that the pylon bridge does not reach across this particular little gap here. It gets us a little bit too deep in the middle. Guaranteed there'd be a way around it. It would only mean um, putting in something temporary under the middle. Let's have a go. Let's see if putting something temporary here under the middle will actually fix it. And we'll, we'll cheat. We'll use the old groundworks, constant grade, and pull out a piece across there. And let's see if we can cheat it in. And that's no, gone back to new. We want old. Obviously not saving. 
it's odd call that a bug. Spin it around. Oh, look at that. Now we get a link. And that's weird. Did that do that on the first bridge? <laughs> Again. Oh no, so we hit it on the first bridge. Spin it around. Don't need the link. So it actually hit it on the first bridge we put in. And we can have a look here and see how far off we missed. Oh, see, look at them. Oh, they are only very, very shallow. Well, that's disappointing. That's very disappointing. Anyway, well, that's a very quick crash course in bridge building. The, the steel one worked very nicely. But yes, building up here will take a lot of putting it in, pulling it out because it's not quite right, and putting it in again until you actually get something in here that you like the look of and actually fits to the ground. Well, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next episode.